Hi everyone, welcome to the next um, perfume bottle um, tutorial from um, um, Jewelry Box by Anna Carlson. Now here we have a ribboned bottle and what I have decided to do is to not use the Castle Metallics for the ribbon but to use them for the bottle and use something else for the ribbon. I'm going to do the bottle first and I've picked my colours for that already. I've decided to use the bismuth crystal for this sort of metally type parts. So I'm going to try and pick out what I think those might be. I'm thinking down here at the bottom maybe and so I'm going to make it lighter in the middle again to look like shine on our metal which is how we've been doing it right through like that and then the same on here now, I have been asked what I think about the metallic pencils I actually really like them but I think I know some people don't um, with metallic pencils you don't get a huge amount of shine like you would with a pen even with a pen you don't always get like a mirrored effect depends there are some pens that can provide that effect but they are alcohol markers they do go through the page and they smell but you know it's hard to get that effect with a pencil but I like the sort of vintage type colors that you get with um, with the metallic pencils um, I'm not sure if that's true of all sets I did grab a Derwent red um, open stock these I'm going to do darker at the top than the bottom and uh, to see whether it really was red and it really wasn't much different I swatched it actually here then I'll show you so there's the Derwent red swatched on here it looks a slightly different color but it's quite similar to these it's not like scarlet you know so but it was interesting because I wondered whether you know if it was much brighter whether I would get it but obviously there's something about metallic pencils that the t shades aren't um, really I don't know what the word is um, then just not the same and that's fine but it depends what you're expecting and what you're wanting to do with them really didn't work very well did it right so there is that I'm rather liking that colour to be honest it's really nice up here we've got a bit of detailing as well that I'm going to do as if it's metal this bit now I could do it so that it's darker in the bits that are up which is what I probably I was tempted to do but I think it's really thin so I'm actually going to just fade it towards the middle and these little dots I'm going to do in this as well. There we go. The rest I'm going to do as if it's glass. And I've picked a slightly different colour to one we've used already. I thought it would make sense to change the colours up a bit. This is called Bloodstone and it's a reddish tone. So that's what I'm going to use. And we're going to use the same technique as we did for the metal part. Just sort of fade it towards the middle. Yeah, I really do like that shade of colour. Nice. As I say, it's really subjective. You might think, ugh. <laughs> I think, what's she on? Horrible colour. But yeah. But for me, ask me what my favourite colour is. And I think it's probably green. But it yeah, changes. It's, uh, it's interesting. I don't really stick with one. I'm trying to remember what it was as a child, but I'm not really sure. My um, my mum used to always dress me in red or pink and my sister in blue. Um, so we could be told apart because we had the same, unless we had identical outfits, which sometimes if she couldn't find different colours, she would uh, buy us identical outfits. Being twins in the 70s. And even sisters that were similar ages would be dressed the same. It was just the thing. So uh, I didn't like it. Nor did my sister, but you know. I don't think kids always like what their parents do anyway. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what it is. It's just because their parents have done it. 
Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Try and make this bit quite light, but I need to put a bit of colour in there. But, um, yeah. I don't think I've necessarily liked red or pink more than blue. Though, so I'm not really sure what my favourite colour was. My dad likes green. Always has. That's interesting. My mum likes purple. But there's quite a new... I think purple has become quite a trendy colour. When I got married, it was really trendy. I had my um, sister wore a purple dress, as did my mum and my mother-in-law. It's only sister-in-law that didn't. Now, I think I'm going to do that as if it is a gemstone. Um, it looks like it's supposed to be a cut stone. So for this one, which I think is the one nearest to us, it's going to be really light. And I think I'm just going to do a few stripes of colour like that. See if it works. For this one, I'm going to sort of fade it upwards. And for this one, I'm going to put it across as if that point is the lightest. I'm going to make it symmetrical. A little bit there and there. Oh, a little bit more there. Uh, let's make that darker there. And a bit there. Now, if that's too tricky for you, you could always just go round and round and fade it towards the middle. But I hope that sort of works. Okay, our ribbon next. Now, I've got my Castle Art 72 set. It just happens to be handy. And I'm going to grab a colour out of here for the ribbon. Um, because, as I said, I don't want it to be metallic. I want it to contrast. Um, I think a pinky red might be good. I'm just going to try that one. Oh no, not that one. I can hear a beeping. I think her husband's gone down to the fridge. He must have left it open. I'm thinking the cherry pink. Yeah. No, that's the japer pink. That'll do. Right, I'm just going to move. I've got all sorts of... You can't see what I'm doing, it's probably a good thing. <laughs> so this is the Japer pink. You can use any pink, reddish pink would do for this. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fade that towards the middle. I want it to look like it's a silky, oh, it's a train, uh, a silky ribbon, but I don't want it metallic. It could be, because you do get metallic ribbon I just feel like I want it a little bit different. So I'm going to make these bits darker at each end and lighter towards the middle. And then dark down here. And then light it a little. This is not how a ribbon would really look, but I think it just makes it look a bit more interesting. And it's an easy way to create the Im impression of shadow and shine just by sort of doing it in the middle. But really we should be looking at the curves of the ribbon and working out where it would be shadowed. But it doesn't matter really. You can, but I'm just not, just having fun. Saturday afternoon, I want to chill, just enjoy it. Gosh, I think we've only got one left, haven't we? I don't know what colour I'm going to do that one. Quite limited colour-wise on the uh, metallic pencils, so I'm going to have to get my thinking cap on and work out what to do for that one. I think this one's going to look quite different because of this really bright colour, which is so different to the rest. But I'm hoping that it'll work and it won't look too odd. Let's sit back and look. Yeah, I'm happy with how that is. Now, Posca pen. I'm just going to put a bit of shine onto some areas. Um, now, quite often when you do a sort of gemstone like that, you'll want to just 
take out some of the edges to make it look more shiny. I'm just doing a little bit near the middle. I'm going to put a bit of shine there, a bit there, a little bit down there. There we go. That is me. I'm going to leave that there. You could, of course, put shine on the metal bit, but I tend to just put it on what I want to be the glassy bit because I think it it sort of works better. But you know, I think it gives the um, impression of shine. I think the glass needs more help somehow to look shiny. But anyway, um, maybe I'm just talking rubbish I don't know but that's that one and we've got the last one to do tomorrow so that's exciting as I say I shall have a good old think about what to do and uh, and I'll get on with that one tomorrow but for now thank you so much for watching hope you have a lovely day and happy colouring <laughs>